welcome back guys thanks again so much for stopping by make sure you guys watch till the very end because in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to install that pulsar programmer that tuner it adds like 136 horsepower if i'm not mistaken to my buddy's l5p duramax it's a gmc denali absolutely gorgeous it has 37s on it giant nine inch mcgoy's lift kit super nice but it's kind of a cool video because i'm going to be doing that getting his first reaction. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both trucks out and compare the difference because both trucks will have the equal amount of mods. It'll have both programmers, same exact ones. So I think it'll be worth your time to watch this video till the end. Just a heads up, if this is your very first time stopping in at the channel, you guys own a truck, just hit the subscribe button. Now, if you're thinking about buying a truck or you just enjoy truck builds, truck content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Before we get this video started, if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and you guys are already considering buying some truck parts for your vehicle, definitely check out my website. It's truckmasterdiesel.com. I'll leave that link in the description below and a coupon code to help save you guys some coin. But with that being said, let's just dive right into this video. Stay tuned. We're gonna do some horse power upgrades let me show you what I have so on a previous video I installed the Pulsar made by Edge as well as the Edge CTS 3 monitor which I'll be installing in this 2021 so it will be a little different this truck is an absolute fuel hog as far as I'm concerned it's got 37s on it the truck is massive uh, it should be averaging about 20 miles to the gallon on the highway without a trailer but I think we're lucky if we even see 14 mpg on this big bad boy so we want to definitely get it to move a little bit better and this is why we went after the Pulsar and also, I want to freshen up the mirrors just a little bit more with the Boost Auto Parts stuff. We have a few more accessories in these mirrors, so I'm going to be installing those as well. And of course, to make things breathe a little better, we're going to be installing a hot side pipe as well as a cold side, all custom powder coated. This is pretty much it, guys. It's all plug and play. It's very simple to use. You just plug it right up underneath the dash here. You know guys, I gotta be completely honest with you. You guys see me do a lot of install videos and stuff, you know, on diesel trucks, all kinds of different performance parts from different companies. I never get paid for any of this stuff, by the way. I never do. You guys probably think that they, companies pay me to make videos for them. I don't. I, I've never received a single dime. But, for example, you got this company right here, WC Fab. Absolutely great quality. I mean, they do such a tremendous job with their welds, the quality, the piping. Everything just looks great. But this is exactly why I stopped using this stuff. It never fits, man. Like, you know, I always have a fitment issue. Like, for example, now I got to go outsource some clamps because the clamps that they sent me was wrong. And to be honest with you, I'm actually really worried about how this is going to fit in the truck. But we're going to make this right, guys. We'll figure this out. Luckily, I have a bunch of clamps in stock here, but we'll get it going. I mean, good quality stuff. Just unfortunately, parts just don't fit. That's exactly why. HSP, you never have to guess. It always fits. All right, guys, we're back. It's like an hour and a half later. Now, as you guys can see, I got the ECM out of the truck. That was super simple. And also some good news, we have the hot side installed. It looks really good. But what I'm trying to say is there's zero instructions. There's no YouTube videos. There's no instructions on their website on how to install this thing. I'm not too sure if it goes in from the top or the bottom. I noticed that either way I did it, it would not fit correctly. So on the off chance that you guys have a 2020 to 2022 Duramax L5P, and you decide that you want to do something like this, the only way to install this hot pipe is from the driver's side, from the inner fender, and you would literally have to bring that pipe underneath the truck and feed it up through here. But in order to get this pipe installed correctly, you have to remove that engine control module. Oh, and by the way, these are the clamps that are left over from the hot side kit. I do have these two for that. Hopefully all that works out. Let's just say I'm just a normal dude in my driveway putting this thing on and I didn't have extra clamps laying around. I'd have to wait for them to ship it to me, you know. I don't understand why they just can't make these things longer. There's absolutely no way that these clamps would fit on that pipe. But I was getting pretty frustrated so I didn't turn the camera on, so I do apologize. That's not normally in my character. Check this out, guys. So this is the passenger side. My truck, my L5P, doesn't have the same exact body style. These body styles are a lot wider, they're more bubbly and there's just way more room. For example, if I decided to install like a PPE downpipe on the back of this thing, it would be super easy because it's right there. You can grab the bolts. You wouldn't really have any issues as well as the manifolds, the up pipes. Over the months of working on this vehicle right here, I've learned one thing. This is by far the easiest platform GM pickup truck. 
that has enough access to get your hands back there if you have a Duramax engine. So we're gonna go ahead and install this Pulsar. This thing is pretty sweet. It's very simple. Honestly, guys, all you gotta do is just plug and play, man. Just be careful, don't bend the pins. I made an install video on this on my other channel, so definitely check that out. It's Truckmaster Garage. I'd appreciate the support if you guys can do that. I'll leave that link in the description. I don't have any experience with the Banks ECM tuning. I'm sure it's awesome. I mean, I'm hoping to eventually do a review video on that product as well. And one more thing, guys. This is the cold side pipe on the passenger side I just removed. It's super easy. The good thing I like about this versus like the LML version where you have that ugly collar sleeve that you have to like turn and the plastic breaks. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've been there. This is so simple. All you guys gotta do is lock these two tabs out and it'll just come right out. And same thing for the other side. It's so simple to pull out. All right, so I'm just installing the rest of the brackets on the Pulsar to the engine control module. But here's the kicker right here. So I went to install the cold side pipe as you guys saw and it's missing the metal coupler that connects to the end of it. So unfortunately, I gotta contact WC Fab and have them send me the part that they didn't put in the kit. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the factory one back in the truck, that way we can at least get a test drive for this video. I mean, we're all human, things happen, but it kinda sucks when you can't get everything in the kit. And on top of it, it's my buddy's truck, it's not even mine. So, you know, it could sit and I can wait for the part, but you know, we gotta get it back together and get it back to them. So hopefully one of these times I can get this thing installed once I get all the correct parts. We're gonna go ahead and install the Pulsar, super pumped about it. I'm not gonna do any more videoing. I'm gonna go ahead and just install this thing and uh, button everything up and get Todd over here. Let's get that test drive going. All right guys, so we're back here. I have Todd. You guys have seen Todd here on the channel. He owns the Dewey Max, the 2021 GMC. Yeah. I think it's pretty sweet, man. How do you like the uh, ride quality with that McCoy's lift kit? Uh, you know what, it didn't really change the ride quality a whole lot, I don't feel like. It's, it's pretty pretty close to factory. It might be a little, little rougher, but but not bad. I probably put about 10 miles on this truck and driving down the road with this lift kit on the big 37s and the giant forged wheels, I gotta say guys, it felt like a stock vehicle. Yeah. It really did. You can't really tell that you're actually in a lifted vehicle when you're driving it. It's not very bumpy. Right, I'm right. I'm surprised. Right, well I mean honestly it's a one ton dually so it's gonna be a little bit of a choppy ride if you're on a rough road so, but yeah, truly the, the lift kit didn't change the ride a whole lot on that so it's, it's nice. All right, so this was a challenge getting this installed, but we were able to do it. Luckily, uh, I figured it out. I don't know, there was no instructions, but. No instructions? It was <laughs> well, it was like, I didn't know if I had to take it from the top and feed it down or mm. take it from the side and up. So um, I went underneath the inner fender and I was able to get it snaked through there, but it worked out. It took me a while and the clamps didn't fit. Typical. Clamps didn't fit. Just <laughs> typical, right? I'm not joking. <laughs> well, I mean, those, so those are HSP clamps. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I have an assortment of clamps. So, okay. Yeah, they're brand new clamps, but um, yeah, I had to put new clamps on. The other clamps didn't fit. Ugh. Yeah, it was Well, really I don't want to say too much bad about anybody there, but you kind of called that out before we got well, started with that. You've been down of, that road before. I was kind of hoping they got their act together, though, man. That was the thing, but yeah. it is what it is. So now that we have the truck started, let's go ahead and pull it out of the garage. You ready? Ready. All right, let's do this. It's on the fly tuning instead of actually on your steering wheel. You could do it on your steering wheel. See, and you want to keep going all the way up to gotcha. 50. Gotcha, yep, okay. So that's, that's tuned five. And as you can see up there, it says five. Nice. So if you turn it down, it's going to turn down with the actual monitor. Okay, I see it. See that? Yep. God forbid someone stole the thing from you or whatever. <laughs> right. And you got to get out of tune five, you can do it from the steering wheel. Okay. So that's kind of neat. So um, we can just touch screen this to adjust it. Yep. All right, we're just going to jump on it right out of the gate here. So that's two nothing. Two nothing. <laughs> we're still isn't half bad. That's, that moves, man. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> yeah, she moves with 37s, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. That's some big old tires out there, huh? That hits 60 pretty quick. How can we turn that throttle sensitivity up some more? On the monitor. I haven't done it yet, though. You haven't tried yet, huh? Uh uh. I guess we can use your truck as a test dummy. So. Just off the get, what do you think before I did this? What are your thoughts? 
like honest, honest thoughts. From stock to now? Yeah. Can you tell a little difference? Because this is supposed to add 136 horsepower. It's better. It's better. I don't know that it's, uh, I'm grinning ear to ear better. Mm -hmm. Def definitely got a little more punch to it. It gets up and goes better. So it, it is satisfying. It is satisfying. But I like think it, I think with it moving better, it's going to give you a little bit better MPG. That's kind of the biggest thing with this program right here. Okay, right. Well, I'm curious to see how much better that would get because it did go downhill a long ways when we put this lift kit in 37. What were here. you getting? I forgot to ask you that. It was getting you know 12 to 14, depending on how you were treating it. Okay. And then once we put the lift kit and everything on here, big tires, we're getting like seven to eight. So it was a substantial hit. To That's the gas horrible. Mileage. Okay, let's see. Average eight. Best, oh, look at that, almost 16. Not bad. Yeah, near 16, and that was still before it was really just through the break-in period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're getting eight now, and that was that was mostly highway driving from my house to yours. So, it says average 8.3 miles to the gallon. To the left, you guys can see where it says 13, 14. It's kind of blinking on and off. On and off. I guess in a real-world test, if you put 20, 30 miles on it driving like this, you should increase two to three mpg i'm guessing maybe more well i'm gonna say it's it's more if i was averaging around 8.4 and like right. i said that we're was doing all 55. highway yeah. we're doing 55 it's a windy blustery day mm -hmm. and we're already jumping up somewhere it's between 12 and 15 like so six. i mean to average that out you're 13 13 and a half oh that's a win so that's that's five miles to the gallon that's incredible so even if you don't think you gained enough in horsepower and torque you're getting back all the gas mileage you lost putting the lift kit big tires on so uh -huh. That's worth it right there. You'll you'll re recoup all the money for this thing in six months of driving. How much was the Pulsar Goom monitor? I think it was like a thousand bucks, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I want to say it was eleven $1 hundred dollars for the two. Okay. Yeah, I guess if you did the math, that's uh, <laughs> with diesel prices nowadays. <laughs> it's it's noticeable. It's not yeah. like we did this and I can't tell the difference. It's definitely noticeable. We got to do this on the my Denali. Yeah. Just, just to get an idea of what it would be like with just because my truck is completely stock. I mean, other than the pulsar and the piping kit. Right. But yeah, I think that'd be a good test. So, uh, if in fact you don't like this, and let's just say you want to try it, try something different on the on the pulsar. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, doing a pulsar delete. If you guys catch my drift, <laughs> it does make you wonder. You know, would it run even better? Yeah. I don't know if I'd video that, but you know. That's the question. I guess I can answer that question off topic. I guess not on video all, you know, if that was to happen. But uh, <laughs> I don't know who's watching these videos. <laughs> right. uh, uh. Man, it's like you're a drug dealer, I'm telling you, when you're doing stuff like that. But no, it's a good point. It's a good point, guys. I think that if, let's just say I did delete this truck, would it run better than the Pulsar? I think it'll definitely give you more horsepower, more MPG. But would it actually give you more acceleration? Question, answer that is yes. I already know it's yes. <laughs> it's yes, huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Actually, I should ask JW Montoya that question. Because he did it to his truck, and then he did the Pulsar on his dad's truck. And they have the same truck. Well, there you go. He'd have the answer for you then. Yeah. But even that being said, doing a delete costs you, I don't know, five, six times more than just buying the Pulsar and the Betcha. monitor. And so... I guess it depends. Do you want every little bit you can get out of your truck, or is this enough to satisfy? Yeah, you're looking at about five grand to delete this truck. Right. I mean, with all the piping, the parts, and everything, it, it's it's not cheap at all. Like before, like my LBZ Duramax, it would, I mean, it would take six, seven hundred bucks, and it's deleted. You know. Right. So. Different game there. Oh yeah. I would say this is still this is still faster now than it was stock stock wheels stock truck so with 37s on i would say that still has more get up and go than it did stock so now it's big it looks awesome it's a little bit quicker i would say and i've got the gas mileage back so i would say that's a, that's a well worth it investment to me oh yeah todd i forgot i gave you I, I gifted you a little present with some bullet style 40 cal Nickel plated. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice. Isn't that cool? Good touch. I'm gonna do this on mine. I guess so you have a better understanding of what it's like to. And yeah, there's a car. I'm gonna let him drive around us. This is a good spot to launch. Although this truck does have up pipes, down pipe, 
all that all that high flow stuff too, so it does help a little it's bit. It's got all the goodies. Yeah. Holy God. <laughs> oh well that's definitely a difference right there. Oh my goodness. I you told just, you man. <laughs> just bounced my head off the seat rest. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what the Pulsar would do if you didn't have those big giant wheels. Yeah, okay. That, well, that, that's kind of what I was trying to explain. <laughs> that's definitely a world of difference. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even ready for that. <laughs> it's not bad for a non-deleted truck though, I think. Right, okay. Well, hey, that's um, exciting, isn't it? Yeah, so this is just like, just barely, that's just barely tapping. Wow. Yeah. Wow. A total difference. Yeah. That's why I was really I was really interested to see what that Pulsar would do with 37s. Okay guys, so now that we're back here in the garage, um, honest opinion between the non-lifted Denali versus the 2021 with the Pulsar. Yeah, there's, same engine. there's no comparison. <laughs> <laughs> when you go when you go with the stock wheels and everything, holy smokes, that was yeah, that would blow that truck out of the water. Really would. That sits you right back in the seat. Yeah, wow, that was a surprise. It's a dually, so it's obviously heavier in the back, you know. So it's gonna slow you down, but I was expecting like a you know a nice good jolt. You yeah, know? yeah. It, it was yeah. only it was uh, maybe like rocked your head a little bit. But yeah. when you stomped your truck, it was, yeah, bounced your head off the, the headrest. <laughs> so yeah. definitely uh, a big difference. Man, should we delete this truck? Right. I know I shouldn't be talking about that stuff on my channel, but, I mean, real talk, I mean, we're trying to get results here. And mm -hmm. Pulsar is definitely something in my, I guess in my league, just because it's not lifted and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if we're trying to do some cool horsepower gains and, sound cool and i mean dude look at that thing I've seen a guy on instagram that hood stacked his same truck that you got oh really he put a hood stack on it a hood stack yeah huh? wow yeah on a denali yep i need to see that yeah i gotta yeah, I'll, send, yeah. I'll send you the link but all right guys hey let me know in the comments what we should do man seriously uh load them up i'd love to read them thank you guys so much for watching till the very end again todd thank you so much for bringing the dually max to the garage again absolutely i always love having it here yeah. um i'm gonna continue to plug away on your truck as much as we can to dial her in looking I mean, forward to it yeah a little here, a little there. Yeah. But uh, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. How much was it? <laughs> how much was it? They gave it to me. So you're not going to tell me how much was it? Because they gave it to me. I don't believe you. Why? How are they gonna give you something like that? They gave this. They gave. They were like, "Hey, like, okay, yeah." They gave it to me. No, me costó nada. no, they didn't. No, me costó nada. Just tell me how much was it. It's like. Tuviste que haber pagado cash porque la tarjeta no sale. It's like, like thirty bucks.